okay everyone welcome to my first ever traveling vlog as you can see i'm about to take my flight to johannesburg i'm heading straight to germany it's been a long week and i only slept for like three hours didn't even have the chance to cut my hair or trim and take care of myself so yeah i'm looking forward to get to johannesburg so that i can do all of these things before i take my flight overseas I have about eight hours in Johannesburg, so yeah, let's go. But before I do that, let me take you to the night before where the youth at my church bid me farewell. I had to grab myself something to eat at mac and bean, which is chicken livers um, with bagel and cappuccino. I'm out here in Johannesburg, man. Need to get my hair cut. Need to look clean. Need to look fresh. I need to look dope, man. So let's see if these guys can do me a nice one. Oh, they cut me good. Walking on the streets of Joburg, man. Walk on the streets of Joburg. Just got myself a nice trim. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, but yeah, this is me right here. So this is me heading back um, to where I stopped my luggage. And then day after, I'm going to be heading straight to the Ortam airport. Um, we are going to spend uh, yeah, a few more hours before I take my flight um, to Germany. So yeah, um, I just got myself a nice haircut and I'm feeling myself right here, checking it out. Um, not really a bad job that they did, um, but yeah, I'm still I still feel good. I mean, I feel good because at least I'm, I'm a bit trimmed, I'm shaved, so I look yeah, I look clean. I look clean. That's what is more important at this stage. So look, so I went to this barber shop, right, um, somewhere in Johannesburg. I can't remember the name of the place now, but it started with the K. And this guy, he was so nervous. It was his first time actually cutting a black man hair. Like an African hair. <laughs> I think I was so serious too, because I asked him like, yo bro, have you ever cut any black man hair before? And he said, you know what? I've never, this is, you're gonna be my first client. 
So I was like, ooh, I'm nervous, but I'm gonna give you a chance. At the same time, you know, I was very, very desperate, so I had to, I had to, I had no choice. And uh, I was just watching him all the time. He was very, 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 very focused. Um, he was kind. He speak, I mean, not speak. He spoke little English, which was very, very concerning for me because he couldn't really follow my instructions. But I tried to show him what to do. And I think that he, he did pretty well, even though he basically put my linings a bit high up out there. So, yeah, my lining is not that great. Um, but he did very good. He did very good. Um, of course, he still charged me the same price, which is um, I paid 250 for everything, right? So he just lined my beard and cut my hair, you know, as it looks now. And I paid 250 for that thing. Now, I have no problem of paying, but not for this haircut. 250 for this haircut, it's not valuable. That's not value for money for me. So anyway, I had to get my hair cut because I was not going to get my hair cut somewhere in Europe. Um, I had to do it here in South Africa. I think even though I was still skeptical of my Turkish fellow, my brother, um, but at the same time, I think uh, at least he understood the, <laughs> the texture of my hair, you know, better than any European. No offense to any European, but yeah, 250 for this haircut. Nah, it was not worth it, man at all at all i would pay probably 60 rand maybe 50 for this type of haircut back in um back in the township but you know what at least i look fresh you know i look good and uh yeah i'm ready to take my flight and yeah i'm excited man I'm see you on the other side of the world peace three hours later flight uh, what a stressful trip um, were delayed for such a long time our flight had to um, land in Nigeria Lagos due to the military coup happening in Niger so their airspace was declared an all-flight zone and so we had to yeah reroute and uh, refuel because the journey now wasn't going to be a bit longer but made it to Frankfurt, I'm um, in Germany, just tired, but waiting for my, yeah, now my luggage is delayed. I'm not sure what's happening with the machines, but anyway, I'm here. Um, hopefully the luggage will come soon so that I don't miss my next, uh, yeah, my next uh, departure to, to Hamburg. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> This was a crazy trip. I've never had such an experience. Um, it felt like I was in Manifest. If you guys know the series Manifest, it felt like I, felt like I was in Manifest. Man. It felt like I was, I was gonna um, yeah, arrive on a different destination where, where, yeah, where I have superpowers. But anyway, my mind was just playing tricks on me. Just glad that I'm okay. Um, so yeah. Just thought let me just keep an update and um, yeah, see you in my next stop. Oh yeah, while we at it, let's just speak about the Lufthansa airport airline or flight, whatever you want to call it. That flight, 
I was not impressed. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed from the from the, the what do you call this the flight attendants, um, the the customer service. They were not too friendly. Secondly, the entertainment was very poor. So much limitation. Like I don't know what music they had there. It was like remixes from YouTube. Crazy. It's like someone just put their own old music, old movies. Everything is old. Old TV shows. The food was tasteless. Like there was nothing good about that flight. <laughs> like and then the reroute and the delay happened. So I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm so disappointed. I was, of course, I was didn't have high hopes when it comes to Lufthansa. But still, you know, this was such a. Yeah, this was such a downgrade, you know. I know that I haven't, I mean, I've only traveled with two airlines, Air France and, um, oh no, three. I think it's Air France, I can't remember the other one. And then it's United Emirates. Uh, what's the other one now? The one that took me to Amsterdam. I forgot, but those flights were good. I mean, of course, United Emirates ranking number one, but still, you know, Air France and the other one, they were good. Lufthansa, I thought that it was going to be, you know, subpar, but, or at least average. This was disappointing for me, I won't lie. But anyway, um, just just glad that I made it um, to Germany. And um, yeah, I'll learn my lesson. Next time I'm gonna know not to use Lufthansa. I mean, if that, if they are the cheapest, of course. I mean, you need to take the cheaper flight, but damn, I need to bring my own entertainment. The worst, I think the bad thing that I did for myself because I was such in a hurry, um, when I had to leave my place is that I lost my headphones or my ear I'm not lost I left my earphones so really I was dependent on Lufthansa's entertainment so yeah it was such a boring flight for me I won't lie it was long and boring I mean it was exciting and nervous but I mean that's not good because it was due to the delay um, and of course the sudden change of route, but n other than that it was very very boring. I was not impressed at all So yeah, that's my um, Little two cents when it comes to Lufthansa Airlines um, Hopefully one day they will upgrade and improve their services and treat the, the Yeah, and, 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 and treat the, their customers Especially the flight attendants needs to be more friendly, you know this other lady treated this other guy who want like this other guy wanted coffee and this lady just lashed at him was like look i cannot i cannot give you coffee you need to come to the kitchen i'm not here to provide coffee for 250 people but this guy didn't say that you must provide for everyone he was just saying that hey i feel like coffee or can i have coffee he just could have said hey look just follow me to the kitchen i'll make it for you there you don't have to yeah, you don't have to lash at him, you know, he didn't say that um, dish out coffee for all 350 passengers. That was bad customer service. So, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do any backup, che any backup or any review or any rating checking um, before I booked or hopped to the flight. But, yeah, disappointed, to say the least, disappointed. One hour later. Two hours later, three hours later. So this is the, we are told that this is where the bags are going to arrive, but they haven't arrived. Only a few, but no one has come here to collect. Um, there are people waiting here. I have these two friends from Namibia who are also waiting for their bags. So we are waiting together. Uh, yeah, uh, hopefully that I'm going to catch. So I've missed the other train. So there's another one leaving at Kora Pass. Not caught up us at five past three. Hopefully, I can catch yes. that one. Ah, it's been a tough trip. Um, the guy at the teller said that we must just wait um, since um, the bags are still coming. I'm not sure what's the delay though. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna stop the video. Uh, please let me know if you enjoyed it and you would like me to continue with this uh, vlog. Um, but yeah, I thought let me just make them short and not too long. Thank you for watching and yeah, see you on my next video